All right, here we are. We got the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the DJI Smart Controller. Now let's get into it. Is this a good platform for solar inspections? What are the pros and cons? Let's get into it. So DJI finally released the Mavic with a thermal imaging camera that's radiometric and 640 resolution, which is what we need for solar inspection. So is the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced a viable platform for solar inspection services? Yes and no. Let me explain. So yes, you are able to complete solar PV aerial thermography inspections using this platform, uh, but there's definitely some drawbacks to this setup um, over you know, other traditional setups, you know, namely the Matrice 210 and XT2 combo. It's important to note that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is not yet compatible with DJI Ground Station Pro. So uh, a lot of you guys out there that are flying Raptor Map style inspections, um, it's going to make flying the correct orientation, that side-to-side -side flight pattern that Raptor Maps requires, as well as flying at like a reasonable speed, just more challenging and you know, and limit limiting completely um, a lot of the times. Um, so this is because with the, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you're going to need to use DJI Pilot as your flight app, and you know, whereas when you're typically flying with an Inspire One and XT or a Matrice 210 XT2 combo. Um, you're able to use DJI Ground Station Pro and get a lot more flexibility with how you set up your flight plans. So for example, when, when you're setting up a mapping mission in DJI Pilot, uh, you'll be stuck to flying at a predetermined uh, flight speed based on your GSD. And GSD is essentially just the accuracy being captured at a certain altitude uh, based on the lens size of, of the, the camera. So for example, when you're flying Raptor Maps comprehensive mission, at three centimeters per pixel GSD on Ground Station Pro, you can adjust the shutter interval to fly at Raptor Maps recommended seven to eight miles per hour. Whereas when you're flying at that same three centimeter per pixel GSD and setting it up on DJI Pilot, you're going to be limited to closer to four miles per hour, uh, which is almost going to double the, the total data collection flight time for. So here we have our mapping mission set up for this rooftop system. You can see the camera type Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced there. Uh, we have the GSD, three centimeters per pixel GSD. Now we uh, timed interval shot there. And then the altitude we have set at 78, which is what gives us that three centimeter per pixel GSD. But you see here the speed limitation not the takeoff speed. The takeoff speed is just when you take off, obviously, and um, it goes to the waypoint. But the speed that the mission will actually be happening is limited to a maximum of 4.6 at this three centimeter per pixel GSD. So um, we're very limited in terms of our flight speed here. Uh, this decreased production capability is, is also compounded when you're actually factoring in the flight orientation requirement that Raptor Maps has is, you know, again, that side to side flight pattern where the camera orientation is going to align that horizontal long edge of the image to be parallel with the solar panels. So normally in Ground Station Pro, you can set the perpendicular to path setting, which instructs the drone to maintain this heading throughout the whole capture and that flight. But in DJI Pilot, you're going to have to manually yaw that gimbal after each waypoint and pass. As it goes up to the next one, you're gonna to have to re-yaw that gimbal uh, to create the correct orientation of that image. Um, so, you know, there's gonna be a lot more manual process uh, involved with flying with DJI Pilot and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, whereas all of that becomes automated within the Ground Station Pro flight plan when you're flying with a Matrice uh, or an Inspire or another, another drone utilizing Ground Station Pro. Um, so that you know can obviously lead to more mistakes, uh, potential mistakes within your data collection process. It's going to significantly increase your data capture time and your time on site. Probably lower quality data a lot of the times, and, and you know it's just going to lead to less production capabilities. That you know in terms of how many missions you can complete, how many uh, megawatts you can inspect on a given day if you're use, using this platform. So. Uh, with all that said, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced can be a great drone to conduct, you know, smaller PV inspections, um, you know, whether it's smaller rooftop systems or even smaller ground mount systems. But if this is going to be a big part of your business or, or if you're going to fly these types of solar inspection missions uh, on a regular basis, I would, I would suggest looking at some of the other different platforms out there. Um, you know, especially the Matrice 210 XT2 setup. That's, that's a great platform. That's 
you know, it is, it is, um, you know, a couple years older, but it is still just a great setup. The workflow is uh, top notch. You don't really have to deal with any software hiccups um, or, you know, new new testing with, with the platform. It's really just set up, you know, fly, get everything automated, and it really helps improve your workflow as a pilot and allows you to keep your focus on, you know, other important tasks such as, um, you know, risk mitigation strategies, you know, making sure you survey the boundaries and, and make sure that you're not uh, potentially putting the drone at risk, uh, you know, with any obstacles around the site like trees or power lines and such. And it really allows you to create the, the flight plan on a much more automated basis. Uh, so you can really focus on, on other important aspects of the operation. Um, and then it gives you more production capability um, to be able to complete more solar inspections um, and then, you know, also complete more megawatts if you're flying larger utility scale uh, sites. So um, for more information, uh, you can definitely check out some of our other videos in solar inspection flight planning with Ground Station Pro and, and other videos that we have created on our Skylink YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you thought it was helpful or you liked the video, uh, click that like button, click that subscribe button. It really goes a long way. It helps us out a lot. Thanks so much. Time to elevate.